So I figured I'd do a video review on the bike. This is for a view on the fairing kit, plus a general overview from my YouTube channel. So it's kind of like two videos in one, so it, it seems like it's uh, back and forth. That's the reason why. This is my 2006 CBR 600RR. I got it two years ago, summer of 2013. It was originally tribal orange, but as you can see, it has a new fairing kit on it, which I just put on um, a few weeks ago, actually, last week, as of when I recorded this. The kit came from extremefairings.com, and overall, I really like the kit. It came out pretty well. Um, Overall aftermarket kits never fit 100%. There's always some issues, uh, problems, or something like that with them. A lot of the time, it's uh, fitment issues that generally are a problem. But with this kit, everything seemed to fit pretty well. There are a few problem spots. I have one down here where the lower fairing comes together. It does not quite fit together. And the air duct cowls don't exactly snap into place. But my other kit that I had, I had huge gaps here where the air ducts connected to the tank. And I do not have that now. And I don't have any gaps around the headlights at all. It fit really, really nice actually. Um, I kind of suspect that the kit um, might loosen up a little bit. One of the problem areas that it had was where it bolts to the nose, the mid to this bolt was very tight. It's almost like this fairing needed to be, you know, just a, just a teeny bit longer in order to comfortably fit. It was kind of a stretch, but I'm hoping that after the uh, kit's on for a little while that it will loosen up a little bit and maybe the plastic will be a little bit more pliable and it may you know, fit a little bit, um, a little bit better, like contour to the bike a little better. Uh, you can see here where the uh, air duct cowl uh, doesn't quite snap into place. I'm hoping that that will loosen up over a while, but this one's really difficult because it has the headlight assembly underneath it where all the plugins go to it. So this um, cover does not quite fit as good as the other one. Uh, the paint quality on the kit is outstanding. It came out really, really well. Uh, I'm really happy with that. I got the sparkle finish on it, and you can't really tell too much now because there's no uh, sunshine left, and the bike's pretty dirty from riding it today. But it does shine a lot in the sunlight, and the paint quality is really nice. They put really nice thick decals on it, and everything is clear coated over. Um, overall, the fitment of the kit, I would probably give it a 7.5 to an 8 for overall fitment. And for an aftermarket kit, that's probably about as good as you're going to get. Uh, nothing will ever fit as good as OEM, but this is significantly cheaper as well. So overall, I'm real happy with the kit. I would definitely buy from Extreme Fairings again, or if you're looking to get an aftermarket kit, I would seriously consider going with them. I would say the paint quality is the best part of the whole kit. So overall I'm really pleased with it and I would have no issues at all buying from them in the future or recommending them to anyone else who was looking for an aftermarket kit.